Hi guys, it's Sean again uh, from St. Joe Robotics and we're going to start our first lesson on Dexcode. Um, so once again, uh, if you haven't watched it yet, go ahead and watch the primer so that you understand uh, how to get to the different examples as well as what controller inputs are going to do. I'll show you real quick here. If you go to File, Open Examples, uh, then you'll be able to find a whole bunch of one. This one right here is for the left arcade stick and that's what we're going to learn about quickly here. So as you can see, there's a dead band set. And what that means is that if the controller doesn't return to exactly zero, then what would happen normally is, is the robot would drift slowly because it's sending like a one or a two, three percent signal from our A or our B stick. In this case, the dead band, it's going to send a zero signal up until the controller stick says five percent. So once it gets to six percent, it'll send that full six percent signal all the way up to a hundred percent. Uh, but because this dead band, the controller doesn't have to be dead perfect center uh, in order to send that zero signal. So how does it do that? You can see we have a forever loop here, and so we're going to evaluate this code inside, and then that code's going to hit this arrow and repeat. So on a left arcade stick, what that means is that we're going to take our controller A position and our controller B position, and it's going to take the absolute value of both of them. So if we're sitting there, controller A position at 3, and our controller B position at 0, it's going to be... 3 plus 0, it's going to be less than our dead band, nothing's going to happen. But once those two things get above a total of 5, now it can be plus or minus because we're taking the absolute values before we're adding them together, uh, then we're going to get some sort of movement. The motors on our left side of our drivetrain are going to take those two values of A plus B, add them together, and it's going to set our left motor speed, our velocity, to that number. So if A is up 50 and B is to the right 25, it's going to send a 75% signal to our left side motor. Now at the same time, the right motor's got to be set to something. So again, A was at 50 and B was at 25. And so on the right motor, it's going to subtract the two values. We're going to take our 50% up and our 25% to the right, and it's going to send a 25 signal. So in this case, our left motors are getting a 75% signal, our right motors are getting a 25% signal, and our robot's going to turn towards the right. Now how does it do does that? is that once it, it evaluates that we're above the dead band here, it's going to come into this statement. And once it executes these two statements of setting our velocity of our left and setting our velocity of our right, it's going to skip on over this else and it's going to come down and it's going to spin the left motor forward and spin the right motor forward. Now, what that means is, is that when we give it a positive signal, it's actually going to go forward. But what happens if we push the stick down and we send a negative 100 signal? Well, it's going to spin the motors forward negative 100. And when we go forward negative 100, we actually go in reverse. So don't be fooled by the fact that we're telling the motors to spin forward. They're going to spin based on the sign of the signal, whether it's a positive or a negative sign. Now, if we're below the dead band, if our A plus B, the absolute values of each, is less than our dead band, then what's going to happen is it's not going to go into this part of the code. It's going to go into the else part of our code. It's going to set our velocities to zero and then it's going to spin our motors forward at zero, which means it's not going to move. And this is how the left arcade stick is set up. So we're going to watch this example uh, of what that actually looks like. Now what you'll see is we're going to push up real hard. I'm going to get a full signal, and, and the robot's going to list forward. As we push down, it's going to go down, and then left and right, it's going to go left and right. It's going to spin. Now I can push just a little bit up and not send that full 100 signal, and it'll go slower. And that's the beauty of the arcade stick. We have some modulation depending on how hard of a signal we send it. All right, guys, that does it for this lesson. If you have any questions, as always, just list them in the comments, and we'll help you out however we can. Thanks.